Hey guys, um, so uh, we're going to be doing something a little different today. Um, you uh, remember I told you that I wanted to uh, make this machine my own to modify it uh, maybe uh, quite extensively, I don't even know yet. Um, and something I've been thinking about for a while, but I couldn't, you know, I wasn't quite decided yet, but uh, finally um, I decided to do it. <clears throat> I decided uh, to um, create a 3D model of the machine to model it, actually, uh, so that if I want to make any uh, modification, where am I going to uh, install the limit switches, where uh, maybe I want to... Uh, add uh, a chip conveyor or you know uh, completely uh, make an, a new uh, sheet metal enclosure uh, maybe a little smaller so that i have more place more room in my shop whatever i don't know but uh, i think having a 3d model of the machine to start with uh, will be very beneficial and this is pretty much what i did uh, during my uh, my holidays I uh, modeled the machine and I'm going to uh, show uh, what I've done so far um, and maybe once uh, in a while if you're interested even I could uh, show some tips and tricks of fusion while I'm modeling uh, smaller parts whatever anyway so uh, let's have a look at the machine so uh, this here is uh, the base uh, I even uh, modeled um, the underside of it. Uh, this is not exact because I didn't have real access, so I, you know, I was looking through the holes and taking the measurements uh, the best I could. So it's it's close. It's not perfect on, underneath, but it's pretty close, and you know, it gives us a bit of an idea of what it looks like. And I went pretty far into the details. Um, I took my measurements uh, twice or more and making sure um, everything was pretty much to scale. Um, it's not perfect, but uh, it's close. It's pretty close. I even have the, the, the hole here for uh, the coolant. Um, this part actually was pretty easy. Um, now if we look at the column this one was a little harder to uh to model um you know i even have a, this is not a straight face it's, it's an arc uh, like it is on the machine um, i've got all my uh, holes my threaded holes and and all that it's 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 uh, it's quite uh, it's quite close to uh, the real uh, dimensions. If I decide to make sheet metal or whatever, I'll be able to, you know, to use these uh, hole location. I think will maybe I'll make my holes uh, on the sheet metal I, I design maybe a little bigger so that I I have no trouble uh, fitting it. But it's it's close enough, I think. Okay, tool changer casting. There you go. The head, I think, was the part I spent the most time on. Uh, it has all of these weird, you know, uh, all sorts of extrudes and, and stuff. Uh, this uh, indentation here. And again, I, I went pretty far into the details. These are the, the lube, uh, lube holes, and you can see uh, that they are in an angle and they you know where they come out and the tersite and all of these measurements are pretty uh, pretty close to reality even the parts that are aren't painted uh, versus the ones that are I have that uh, plate here anyway uh, moving on to the saddle, very good looking part. Um, this is where the the lead uh, 
not the lead screw uh, not bolts on I haven't um, modeled the underside uh, exactly because I haven't lift the machine yet uh, to take my measurements so the tur site isn't uh, drawn in and you know there are a few things that are missing but uh, otherwise <clears throat> It's pretty much uh, that. Now the table, a simpler part. So you see, I have my tersite uh, modeled here. So if I want to uh, use a CNC to um, uh, to machine uh, the, the 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 ways here, I I already have my uh, my drawing. You can see the, the taper for the gibs here, and this is the gib attachment. These are these are the holes for the, the, the coolant. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see the, the, the tracks here for the, the way loops. And there, there are no uh, holes um, here because the, the way loop comes from the, 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 the saddle in this case. And this here is the full assembly. Pretty cool, right? And of course, it's moving. All the moving parts uh, have uh, sliding joints. So yep, yeah, that's what I did pretty much uh, during my uh, my holidays. I uh, modeled the machine, and now every time I install a new part on the machine, I'll first have to model it, and then. Um, and then I'll install it on the you know 3d model and then uh, in real life so maybe I'll see some uh, <laughs> some problems coming ahead or whatever so that's it guys um, let me know in the comment what you think uh, but I, I really believe uh, this uh, 3d uh, model will be very useful and it'll, it'll be complete in the end so um, you know, might be uh, useful to you as well. Never know. All right. Thank you. See you on the next one. Bye.